Police in Alatau, Milimbe province are holding in custody three alleged female cult group leaders for their safety after their followers accused them of empty promises. Police disbanded the group and rounded up the leaders during an operation in December last year. Alatau police also brought in six alleged witches for questioning over the disappearance of a 15-year-old boy in a separate incident, both in the Esaala district. Priscilla Waikaidi reports from Alatau. The Kago cult group known as Ulabugi is said to have existed as far back as the late 50s in Esala's Ferguson Island, only surfacing in this decade, and in December, police operations in the district disbanded the group. Police confirm three women suspects are being held in custody as it is, where at least 300 people had left their homes, obligations and more, to fund and support the group in the belief nearby Mount Oyatabu would open up for riches in gold and oil to be theirs. This cultural movement has caused so much uh, inconvenience. Uh, and people have turned away from uh, normal daily living. Uh, uh, such things like uh, gardening, uh, um, community work, um, church. As I to report, they have not been going to church services. And even it touched the, it touched the, the whole community, the schools is also affected. He says the group had made a few predictions that never eventuated. Chief Inspector Baigao says the three women are being held in custody for their own safety after followers, numbering some 300, were angry over promises that were not kept. Meantime, six women were questioned by police and released over witchcraft activities also in the Esala district. Bayagao says only this month, police had to move into Sawaidi village where the six, three of them alleged witches and the other three accomplices, were to be brought before a public gathering over the disappearance of a 15-year-old boy. On January 16, his men had attended the gathering and reined in the women for questioning. Bayagao says straight after this, the boy returned to his village dazed and pale in color and reported he had blacked out and had awoken in a cave. The women were released and this matter is also being discussed with the state solicitor's office on a possible charge for the women, who in this instance had confessed to keeping the boy. Priscilla Waikaidi, NBC National News, Alotau.